Greetings everybody, Blackstar here, welcome to another episode of Torchlight 2. Those will be the last few videos, because sadly I kinda get got bored by single player and playing alone in hack and slash games. Hack and slash games is not that fun. Uh, I had a friend, I'm, I'm, I still have a good pal of mine that we uh, play, but lately we had prob troubles with like scheduling, so talk, don't expect... Uh, like any multiplayer videos soon. I am pro of course playing with cheats because I wanted to show you some stuff from um, uh, what's the word? From essential, not essentials, from synergies mode. This is one of the new classes called Warlock, and I just wanted to show you what his skills are, what maybe without going much into further game because, for example, this game apart from classes, it adds. It of course changes some things in HUD. It adds new classes, but also adds new locations, like here you can see Ember Steps, which is a dungeon, or maybe kill thing something. Then there's a Cell Rock, I don't know what Cell Rock is, but I will check it out soon enough. I just wanted to show you like how does it look like, uh, how it feels, and like how many skill points do you get, for example, if you level up with cheats like to level 100. I don't know if that's max level, I'm not sure to be honest, but we started with 5, 10, 15 and 10 as, as a warlock. Obviously we have bonuses from items that we get. So uh, as you see, this is how it looks like. I, I sh should have showed you that before I went with my items, but oh, right, also, other thing that your pet is... Uh, the pets can look differently, you can have ghosts as a pet, so they also added that, so that's really fun. So let's say we are Warlock, so obviously our main focus will be focus. <laughs> that's our main thing because we are magic damage guys, but vitality and dexterity should be fine. So let's see like what happens if you get to 100 dexterity first because how much crit and dodge chance we will get. You can watch it as we go. Okay, so 100 dexterity gives you 29% on crit and dodge and 52% on fumble recovery. Now, um, let's go... To 118 because of the thing here. So let's see how much armor and health we we'll get. Uh, I mean, you can see how much we are getting. Okay, I hope that's correct. So between 83 and 165. Uh, like, not damage resistance, but I think armor bonus and block chance. I mean, you can see how much did we get here. Now, uh, for the focus, let's say we go to also 115. We started with that, so you can see how this goes. I might have... Okay, yeah, 100, 100, okay, perfect. And here we add... Okay, so it's like between in 200 areas with 100 uh, focus. And with strength, with strength we're gonna go to 56, I guess. Maybe. Another 10. Will be another 10. Because why not? Okay, so as you see, mm, not much to be honest. I mean, it's like between, like our minimal weapon damage is slightly lower. But for example, if we keep focusing on focus. I mean, let's see, like, how much can we get with 200 dexterity? It's crit and dodge, 29%, so with 200 dexterity... Um. 
Okay, 200 dexterity gives you 43% on crit and dodge, uh, which is nice enough, I guess. But um, I think it's it's nice. It's nice to be honest. But um, I think I wonder what the maximum is. So we're gonna also check that. Uh, as for 18, we're gonna keep spend the rest of it on focus so we can see oh also look focus if we give points on focus i didn't saw that our weapon damage also goes up slightly but oh it no oh, yeah i mean the difference between magic and weapon damage is that our magic damage minimal magic damage is, is higher so as you can see with 192 we almost have like maximum amount of uh, uh, web magic damage bonus that we can get. Uh, also, if you want to use cheats in Torchlight, obviously you need to know that you cannot play in multiplayer. It's big no-no. You cannot play in multiplayer, and I'm only doing that to schlike because normally it will take me too long to like level up character and be able to show you like his skills and whatnot. So this is just a showcase, to be honest. So for example, if you like do everything alright, then you can go with insert, and then you can like write level up 50. And which doesn't work because level 100 is maximum. You have gained fame. Also, you can also gain ranks in fame if you want, but yeah, uh, level 800 is apparently maximum. Uh, as for fame, I'm not sure, we can check. Your fame has grown. Your fame has grown. Okay, so maximum fame that you can get is Supreme Being, and you need a lot of fame to get that. I mean, I I, I had to like five, like m around a million points of fame. I'm pretty sure that that is. Okay, and now uh, we showed like character skills. So let's se let's see how many skill points we need to like max out one particular skill. We have school barrage, which is a barrage of magical skulls. As you can see. Uh, I don't think they ah to sear your enemies. I'm not sure if they can automatically is there either if they are heat seeking, as in do they need oh I'm blind. You 15 points. Like you spend 15 skill points to max out uh, and like single one of them. So let's go with Stevens. And as you can see, because we already had, uh, we already had uh, spent our stat points on uh, magic damage, uh, so that's the case. How? So that's why we get like seventeen thousand uh, poison damage over five seconds. And obviously, we have uh, like tier bonuses. Basically, this is like a AOE poison damage thing, which on maximum level with our stats gives you exactly like that. So this is like I I, I wouldn't call it crowd control, but debuff. It's like kind of crowd control used with debuff uh, and like let's see. Oh, we'll see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, how did you switch, because I know you can switch spells, but I didn't play this game for too long. Okay, this looks very nice, and AoE is kinda, it's kinda nice. Yeah, I mean, they dudes did this character from the ground up, so, like, uh, prop mad props for them. So let's see, like, if we max this out, like, how much do we get? I mean, cooldown is... No, cooldown doesn't change, but I think, yeah, mana cost goes higher, but we get 50, like, 55, 56% poison damage. Uh, oh, 
like knockback and then we start getting movement speed so this is also kind of like debuff but also a good thing for uh, crowd control and even we have like a small chance but uh, still a chance for fear effect yeah, as you can see we get really a lot of skulls and yeah we can like have like additional effect with like exploding poison stuff so they look really nice and this is like really nice spell now for the others let's continue uh, we get fetish so this is a summoning skill like i think every class has it vanilla wants to so let's see what does it do Ah, this is not a minion, this is like a yeah, fetish, an idol that gives uh, 20, only stun. So this is like a crowd control thing in case uh, suddenly you have freaking thousands of enemies swarming you, you can summon this and they have a chance to be stunned, which in close quarters situations can save your life. So let's see how this continues. Oh, and also at some point it gains poison damage, so this is... Yeah, this this character, as I see it, for at, um, until now, at least in uh, death skills, is pretty high on uh, toxic hex, uh, I mean toxic poison. So this toxic is his main primary thing. I don't know if like many monsters have like acid uh, resistance or something like that. Okay, and continuing, I don't think it adds anything else. Um, after two fetishes, uh. okay, yeah. So two fetishes, poison, so you can cover much larger area, and they give kind of a lot of poison damage, to be honest. And then tier three bonus, you could be able to call three of them at once, and they could survive for 15 seconds. 15 seconds in high and slash games, it's quite a lot. So you can see how much thing do we get here. And then let's continue with Death Pact. Spirits of Entropic Realm, slowing the movement only for foolish enough to try this ground. So this is debuff. I mean debuff slash crowd control because it makes enemies slower. And let's see if uh, it will add anything else as we add points to it. Uh, do, 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 do. Honor dead, so this is another thing that can act. Ah, so they can be brought back if, in case they die. Uh, damage taken. Yeah, so this is nicely debuff spell. Really nice debuff spell, to be honest. Death pact. Let's see how this works. Okay, so maybe sounds ain't exactly f proper still. Maybe, I don't know. Master summoning spell. Okay. So, we got that. Uh, now, we can continue with Essence Bind. Okay, let's see how this will work out. Because this seems like a very nice heal spell, very nice heal spell I should say, uh, I guess if you max it, the health regen, hmm, we shall see. But I think it needs to be uh, a minion soul, so it also heals a minion. Okay, uh, then let us max it out. Oh, and Casting time of it is cooldown 30 seconds. Be interesting. Ah, for 12 seconds, over 10 seconds. So yeah, like goddamn. Deal damage over time. Wow, so over 10 seconds, 9000 hit points. So over 10 seconds I hear almost twice of my current HP. That's really nice. That's really really nice. Ok, 
Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, this is. I think it's really easy. It's a lich. That if you upgrade him, then he gets bonuses to damage. And uh, capable of casting more powerful spells. Let's see. Let's see how this will work out for him. Okay. Very nice. I approve. Lich looks fine. Let's see if he gets any bonuses. All damage taken. Okay, so he de gets damage reduction. I think. Or do I get damage reduction? I'm not sure. Uh, we're continuing. Cast speed, so he can cast spells quickly. So he can be a really powerful minion and help. Yeah, for 34 damage. Aura of electricity. And can I summon one more? Wait, can I summon two more? Or it's. Huh. Strange. Okay, and then we have Spore Horde. And let's see how they work. Okay. Uh, life seeking toxic quill. So another skill that is heavily influenced by toxic damage or poison damage. So we now know one of the main themes of this character. I'm surprised that liches are still here. Maybe I found a bug, or because I'm like you know cheating and whatnot. Uh, hmm, strange. But yeah, let's see how much do they get if we like continue adding them up. Now oh, we can summon much more death spores, to be honest. Okay, tier 2, so cast speed, even better. And then if we max it out. Okay, so 100% to damage, which is really nice, I think. Spore Horde, and then uh, for passive stuff, we get Rubonic Burst, Venomous Agent. So, so yeah, another poison thing. So this is like... Uh, like turning your enemies into tight bombs, not tight bombs, but bombs at all. And it seems like like if you want to truly focus on maximum on one skill tree, you spend all skill points that you got from levels and fame uh, on one like skill tree, and then you need to get like new game plus and whatnot. So robotic burst, then elemental attunement. I think Ember Mage has something similar. So it gives him percentile bonuses to type of damage. And obviously poison damage in our case is the biggest one. Yeah, 60% poison damage. And then spreading the plague. So another thing that really ups our poison stuff. Uh, which is, yeah, and it reduces armor of the enemy. So especially on higher difficulties like elite, it's really see Let, look at those like additional poison damage you really can just you are like plug better which is to be honest insane okay I wanna check what's the deal with uh, that's Interesting. Asterion City, Zerifer City, Kelvold. Uh, oh, so. Wow, this thing gives you access to endgame stuff, like map works. Uh, exotic location. Greetings, human. Ah, it gives you access to specific dungeons. Steps. Ah, uh, no, it just gives you like a kill quest. Summoning scrolls. Table Mountain. Huh, strange. I'm not sure if this is like vanilla location or not. Or maybe it's vanilla location but edited to this mod. Uh, ah, okay. Very welcome. Is that off my 
head stuff out man to exalt the dungeons yeah I know map works are like one of the end game stuff that can be used in torchlight 2 The other mod that I will probably be checking out, uh, it will be uh, Essentials, I think. That's how it's... Wow, so the Lich can be summoned for a long, long time. Uh, what I want to say, that there is... Um, God damn it. The other mod I will check is, I think it's called... Ancient War Titan. Holy you have received shit. a quest. And yeah, the thing that I'm here right now, the Ember Steps, is completely pure uh, mod location. I think this is like another thing that adds to end game stuff for this game. Oh, and yeah, this is. Obviously, like endgame stuff. Which is like, holy shit. What? Fuck, man. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe I shouldn't have, like, used the best place. Yeah, especially not with my gun speed thing. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. As you can see, this place is crazy. Even on casual. God damn it. I'm just summoning stuff, you know? Jesus. I don't need ultimate speed because otherwise it's impossible. It's impossible to survive, yo. Give me that luck. Um, yeah, I'm just changing stuff because, like, holy shit. Oh, what? It looks badass. Ooh, a raid great hammer. I don't know if that will be useful for me. Okay, now I will be one thing dealing with items and I will resume recording very soon.